Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com and this is a video review of a module called uh, SQL View Pro and this module is, um, is, is a module from uh, DNN Stuff and I just want to give a big thanks to Richard Edwards uh, he provided me with full access to uh, all the different modules from DNN Stuff so I, I picked this one, uh, SQL Pro um, to review this time because it's uh, it's it's quite an interesting module. Actually, I do have the need of, of such module very very much. I, I like I like doing some queries. I like building some queries and storing them in my local computer. So here and there, I go to my website. I go under host and and SQL, and then I run a query that I want to run in my site. But then every time that I need to run that query I need to go under host SQL and run the query again now with this module of SQL view pro what you can actually do is you can have the the SQL uh, stored in the module and you can have that uh, placed in a page on your website most likely an admin page because only you want to have access to those to those reports uh, that will bring data from your database so you can have that module uh, in a page and whenever you want to check the data, you can just go there, browse the site, log in, go via the menus and access the page and the report will be right there. You don't have to run anything special. What you're going to be doing today is I'm going to be installing this module in uh, my dev website and I'm going to go through its basic features. And again, that's, that's not the first time that I work with this module. That's the third time already. But I will try to go uh, through the basics of this module to see if everything works fine and how easy or how complex, how difficult it is to work with this module. But again, this is a module that will uh, assume that you have some knowledge of SQL because you have to build your SQL queries that you want to do against your site's database. So again, this is not for it is not a very basic tutorial because you have you need to have some basic understanding of, of SQL to be able to drill down the data of your site. So I'll post all the different URLs that we're going to be talking about in this video, which most likely will take more than one video to go through it completely. I'll put all of them, all the URLs in the page for that video posting on my website, uh, dnnhero.com. OK, so here's my dev site. I have already downloaded the SQL Pro 3.1. Uh, there are two versions, one for DNN4, another one for DNN5. So my site is the uh, latest.nook, it's a 541. So I'm going to log in as host. So I will be able to install the module. So let's install. Okay, let's have a look if there's any errors. No, everything is clear. Perfect. So let's click return. Now, what I can do is I can create a new page on my website. Perfect. So we have reports here. Now, at the top, I can select the module, then in stuff SQL View Pro, and add to the page. Okay, so now the module is added to the page, but of course, we have to configure, we have to set up the module. Um, now, making a reference to a previous video of mine, which I, I have explained before how to activate the site log. What I'll be doing here is, uh, assuming that you have activated your site log, I'm going to show an, an SQL script that will query the site log table uh, to show the different user agents that, uh, brought, uh, that have access to your website. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a site which is our uh, Toronto area dot user group to grab a script, a SQL script provided by Paul Scarlett. And he provided that to, to the to our user group in the last meeting. So I'm gonna so again this script was done by him and so all the credit to him. So here's our user group. I'll again post this what URL on the video post page. I'm going to download the scripts that he has provided there. And one of the scripts is about querying the site log table and showing a good summary of uh, of the different agents and different bots that have accessed your website. So, download the file. I'm gonna open it right now. 
the file that Paul made available has a bunch of different queries, but I'm going to focus on one of those queries that is about the site log. Okay, here it is. There's a brief comment at the top. So I'm going to, I'm not going to analyze what this query is doing. It's not the point of this presentation, the, present, the, the this video, the point is to explore the, the SQL uh, module from getting stuff, but I'm going to use this query to show how the module presents data. So here's the query. I'm going back to my test site. I'm going to the action menu of, of, uh, of the module. I'm going to new report set. Not explore in too many details right now. I'm just going to gonna add the new report. I'm going to paste the SQL. I'm going to call it uh, user agents. And here's the query. Just going to paste exactly the query that came from Paul's script. Not going to explore anything here right now. Just going to click update and update again. So basically what this, this query is doing is counting the number of page views for each agent. In this case, this is just a test site and I'm running this test site for a past hour or so. So here's the count number of how many uh, Firefox browsers have accessed this site. Again, very, very uh, short number here because this is a brand new site that I have only run it on a Firefox browser. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to switch the, the sites and I'm going to go to my live site so I can show more data there. So let me separate the, I, I put aside a, a, a page there that uh, we're going to add the module to this page so we can see a little bit more data coming along. I have the, the, the module already installed in my live site. Let's add to the page. Not configured yet. Again, let's go to new report set. Uh, and add a report. My report query is right here. Let's click update and let's have a quick peek to see if the data is there. Perfect. So now we have more data here to to to, to play with with the SQL view module. Okay, so here it says what is the browser? Bot is basically a bot, a Google bot or a Yahoo bot or any other bot that has access to the site. And here are the different uh, browsers that are also accessing, um, in this case, my website. So here's a way, one of the different ways that it can present data. And let's explore a little bit more about the, the presentation of the data. So it has a couple of things already pre-established. Black is the one being used. Let's switch it to blue. So again, a different style. I'm pretty sure that you can easily create more styles uh, for for the report. I I said to switch to the uh, to Windows Explorer just quickly. And yes, if you go to the site under desktop modules, DNN stuff, SQL View Pro, expand, and then you see skins. And then there are a bunch of pre-established skins. You can definitely create your own and upload to the site, so you can create your own skins for your own uh, reports. Now let's go back here. This is just a, a place that you can put some uh, text in the header, text in the footer. You can actually, uh, from the same mode, you can create multiple reports. You can just click add report and you can keep adding. Now you can also add parameters to the report, which we're going to explore in a second. This is the end of the first part of the SQL Pro module review from DNN stuff.